If you're developing a security device for Smart Home, there are some important features you'll need to make sure to implement. Let's take a closer look. Devices that can secure structural access, monitor surroundings, or notify users about nearby events typically fall under the security device category. There are also several security-related traits that are used for these devices. Not all of these traits are required for each device, but these generally support the necessary attributes for proper device functionality. Because security devices typically have settings that enable users to change the security level, all smart home actions for these devices must include secondary user verification. For security-based devices, we recommend using PIN needed for secondary user verification. Notifications are also a useful feature to implement for your end users. Proactive notifications are helpful to indicate when cameras or doorbells detect objects or when security systems are arming. Alternatively, you can implement follow-up responses to notify users once a device completes the requested action. This is an example such as when a garage door finishes closing or the front door has been locked. Though follow-up responses are useful for device actions that take time to complete, you'll still want to make sure your security devices are reliable and quick to respond to users. Monitoring your fulfillment's latency and reliability in the Google Home Analytics dashboards can ensure your users have the best security device interaction. If you're developing a security device that needs to access WebRTC players on smart displays, the WebRTC Validator tool enables you to quickly test your audio and video stream. By using the WebRTC Validator along with Chrome Developer Tools, you can also debug and monitor stats and metrics for your stream. For more information, check out the Developer Center for more resources to get started with security devices. We have code labs that will walk you through implementing secondary user verification, as well as how to use the analytics tools to monitor your actions. Thanks for watching.